Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. From today's lesson, I will divide into three sessions. The first one is the sight reading, second, technique, and third one is the song. First, the sight reading is teaching you how to read new notes fast. So whenever you see new songs, then you can try to figure it out fast rather than counting everything. Even if we read by graph, there is a certain limit to read fast because we not only having step and skip, but there is more jump and changing hands to hands or changing rhythms. So you cannot just play it one song forever. Whenever you see the new notes or new songs, there is the tips to read fast. So I'm going to teach you how to read a note and which way to approach it. That's what the sight reading for. And second thing, technique is literally finger exercise. So building up your muscles in the finger by practicing form and hard. Technique is just like you build your muscle. Think about the tummy. If you wanna, if you wanted six pack, what are you gonna do? Sit up, push ups, a lot of squash, right? We cannot just have six pack without doing anything. Just like that. Even if you play piano, if you don't do techniques, then your finger will never get fast. You need a technique exercise to have speed and accuracy. If you want to play it fast, if you want to do fast with powerful finger, then you have to do technique. Of course, some of you want to play it, right? Nice song. Then you have to work on techniques every day, at least seven to 10 times. So from this video, I added sign reading, techniques, and last one is the song that we will have a fun. But of course, you have to read as a graph, as I told you. Let's start. Number one, sign reading. In this session, we will learn between the middle C, stepping up and step down. In music, between the treble clap and bass clap, there is a huge space. But within that space, there's only three notes are existing. Middle C, step up D, and step down B. They just connecting treble clap and bass clap. Between the treble clap and bass clap, there is another clap that which we don't use it in piano. So that's why they put the space. But in this huge space, there is only three notes are existing. Middle C, step up to treble clap, step down to bass clap. So we're going to learn to read fast D and Bs. Let's find right and first note. It starts with the middle C. So middle C is here and step up and come back to middle C and step up again. So actually this is C, D, C, D. What about the next measure? It's again the middle C, but if you see it, it's closer to the bass clap instead of treble clap. So it means you have to play with your left hand instead of right hand. But it's still the same middle C. So it goes C and the next note seems really, really far. But it is still the same D, this D. Just differences that belong to treble clap. So you play with your right hand and left hand plays the middle C again. So it goes C, D, C, D. So if you see the second measure, you have to play it like this. So it's just like reading the different notes, but sounds are exactly the same. Now, the third measure, middle C, but it belongs to the treble clap. So you will play with your right hand. Middle C, and the next note is a skip up. So skip up. And middle C come back down again, going skip again. 
What about the next measure? C with bass clap. So you play with your left hand, and E is still on treble clap. So with right hand, that's how you're gonna play. So it's the same sound, but different way of playing it. What about next line? Right hand and C D. Oh, the second one is C and B going down. Do you see? It's a little similar, but the difference is left hand stems goes down and line to space going down, and right hand is line to space going up. It's next measure: C to skip up, left hand, C to skip down. So the same line to line skip, but one is skipping up. The other one is skipping down. Next measure. It's a little tricky. If you only see the measure, it's really hard to find it. But that's the D. So these two notes are staying between C, D, B. That's these three notes are big space between treble clap and bass clap. So you should know that. So that's starting with the D because that's closer to the treble clap space. So that's a D, and next note is closer to the bass clap space. So B, so D B D B, and next one is a C. The next C is a left hand C and right hand C. Same note, but you have to switch hands. Now second part in technique, you have to remember three things. First, hand shape. Straight wrist, and second curve the finger, and third when you play it, play as hard as possible. Push down the end of the key, so it's making your finger stronger and firm. So focusing on these three things. If you look at the score, it sounds like a very confusing. So many notes packed in one measure. With tails on it, which is eighth note. We have never played that many eighth note before, but don't worry about it. This is just notes that you're supposed to play very faster than quarter note. Now, first, let's just look at the note head. It starts with the C, middle C, and stepping up. You have to be careful how many times you go up. So C to next D. E, F, G. So actually, you go all the way to G and coming down. F, E, D. So that's what you do. You just from C to going up and coming down to F, E, D. That's the first measure. And second measure, you just repeat again. But switching finger number one instead of two, we end with two, but switch finger number one and start again. Down and switching. From the one that we have been playing before, what space to space? So it's a skipping up, skip up, skip down, skip down again. So it ends on treble C. Do you remember that we talked about it in theory class? C top from the second space is a treble C. So the very last line is a skipping up, except that. So from first to through until the last, right before the last measure, you're just skipping, stepping up, and coming down again. So this is literally 
quickly the exercise about fingering. To practice this piece, remember you have to push down until the end of the key. I noticed that some of you, when you send your video, the wrist is a little lower, not too much, but a little lower, or fingering was a little bit flat. So make sure your finger is nicely curved and your wrist is nicely straight and you push down until the end of the key. That's okay. Even if your piano is not the actual piano, the electric piano, that's fine. Just push down as much as you can so that your finger will have more power. Now let's start a little fast. One, two, ready, play. Push until the end of the key. Push hard. Do you know why I count four at the end? Because we give eighth note as one count right now. So one, two, three, four. So that's why half note gets four count of four eighth note, same equal to the four eighth note. So that's why I counted four for the very last note. So just practice every single day. When you can play really well right hand, play a left hand, exactly the same thing on basis C. Start with the basis C the same way, but the fingering is different. Instead of start with finger number one, you start with finger number five and coming up. Just like this, coming up. Exactly the same way. And when you can play both hands really well, then add together. Just like one, two. And when you play both hands together, make sure you drop the note at the same time. Not like or sometimes one note, one hand is louder than the other. Normally, if you are right-handed person, you will push the right hand more. Or if you are left-handed person, you will push the left hand more. So just try to play it even. Finally, we're going to play a song called Countdown Races. Hand position is thumb sharing the middle C. So right hand C D E F G and left hand from C to going down B e, A G F. Since we learn C D E and C B A. We will work on around the note. So let's start and see how it goes. Let's find hand position. Right hand starts with middle C. So middle C is here. And left hand, the very first note on the left hand is line note. Top from the line note, first line note is skip down from the C, so which is A. You can find that way. Now, right hand. Finger number one on C, left hand, A with finger number three. We will go slow. One, two, three, play. C, C, A, C, step up, C, A, to count. A again and step down. Two, three, again, step up, step down. Two, C again, right hand, and A, C, step up, down, skip down to A, to count, and then another step down, left hand, which is the G, one, two, step up, down, down, two, three, four, the same note, and line
line to line. So skip bob, C, and right hand. What is the note? First space. Do you remember the first space note name? F coming from F A C E. So F three black key. First one F. One, two, three, four. And then skip down from the F. Why? Because it's moving space to space down. That way you can read. Or this note is between the space, the treble clef and bass clef space. So which is a D. D D. Skip up. D C two three four. And then C C B C. It's very confusing at the beginning because it has combination quarter note and half note and dotted half note and even whole note. So all the note is coming out except the ones that has a tails, which is eighth note. So you have to count and at the same time you have to see is that the right hand? Is that the left hand? Is that the C? Is that the D? So just try it slow, line by line. And if you can play it well, then speed up. Now this time we'll speed up a little fast. The same hand position. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I know every time we add new stuff that's why it gets harder and harder maybe it requires a little more practice time than before and it will take longer than before too today we started three things side reading techniques and songs definitely technique you have to practice at least seven times a day and maybe full a week and side reading just practice once a day, that's fine. And songs, practice as much as you want it. But don't forget techniques, you have to practice seven times a day. And I hope you enjoy your practicing and we'll see you next week. Until the next week, keep practice. And once you're done, you think you are okay, then send me a video. I will check it and we'll let you know which one to fix it. Especially, you may have to send the techniques and songs. You don't need to send it a side reading. And also I will upload note reading practice papers too. So you can just keep working on reading the notes. If you have any questions or comment, just contact me anytime. I will try to get back to you as much as I can. Thank you very much and I will see you next week. Bye!